y'all. How's my friends? Where's my friends at? How's my friends doing? Hey, hey. I hear you, Miss Rosie. Er, er, er. You sound like a toy tr truck doing a backup. Er, er. Miss Rosie. Well, hey, Miss Cora. Hey, y'all. Who's on? Hey, Geraldine. Hey, Kimberly Ann. Y'all must have notifications turned on for when Log Home Mom goes live. I, didn't know, I don't know if y'all know you can do that. You can go on um, on my page and go to the, your notifications and it'll turn it on when I come on. I think turn it on too when I post. Because I get my favorite, I get notifications from my favorite pages when they post. I have favorite pages too. How y'all doing today? Y'all, it is 94 degrees at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Feels like 97, and I believe that. How crazy is that? Crazy, crazy, crazy. So I've been letting Lockham Dad rest. He went inside, take a shower or something, but um, that man is working. He come in last night. He called me, and I was busy doing something, so I call him back, and I can hear, I can hear him saying something, but I'm on speaker, and I'm not sure what he's saying, but I realize he's almost home, and I'm like, okay, great, so I was like, all right, I'll see you in a few, and we hang up, and I heard something about cramping, but I wasn't sure, and so he walks in last night, and he had a Gatorade, a big Gatorade bottle. And the way he was walking, it was really weird. He had his hands out. He had around the Gatorade bottle. And I could just tell by the look on his face he was pained. And I'm like, what's the matter? And um, he was cramping so severely that he couldn't get his fingers off the bottle. Like he, um, he said he had to pull over at one point on the way home. I'm like, why didn't you call me to come get you? I would totally come and get you. We could get your truck today. Um he worked yesterday and um he it's so hot here and he uh was building a containment and then taking down a ceiling and uh it was just so hot and i guess he didn't drink enough and he was so dehydrated he was cramping so um we got him upstairs i got him a muscle relaxer and um Got the shower on. I had to help him get undressed because he couldn't even like get his fingers and undo his pant button or anything. Um, so we got him in the shower and I'm like, you just take your time in here. So he went and took his time and I went and scrambled him a bunch of eggs um, just so he, cause he was tight. I mean, like by this point, he's, he's just physically exhausted. So I scrambled him some eggs. Um, he started feeling better after he got out of the shower and the muscle relaxer kicks in pretty quickly. And, um, so he got his muscle relaxer, he got in the shower, he got out, ate his eggs, went to bed, um, hurting, you know, like everything's throbbing and then he wakes up this morning and he's just sore all over. I mean, those muscles just with contracting and stuff. So, oh my gosh, they had to go back out to work today. So he was napping in the recliner a few minutes ago and I let him be and, um, man he works hard but when it's hot in Florida it's no joke like it is just miserable so um, he's been you go on out so um, get Mr. Mosley back out there so he, he's just been working so hard it's just been hotter than heck like it's you can't even breathe and when you're in a confinement or something I mean there's in um, I think on that one he might have had to been wearing a suit too so I think that was one he had to wear a suit so you're looking at five million degrees you know and um yeah i felt so bad for him so yeah anyway let me turn you around so today's a great day um got a bunch oh four eggs i got a bunch of stuff done um we are i'm trying to get my thoughts here the girls keep coming in distracting me so, um, 
I was at a little less than like 94.48 or something like that. And I don't know if someone's been sharing me like a bigger page or something, but suddenly we are now over 9,500. So I am um, less than 500 away. Get in there. I see you. Go on. Go on. I don't want to sleep. Okay. Thank you. I didn't want to shut her. Oh man. Here goes my Wi-Fi. Okay. Let me turn that off. So, um, I didn't want to, uh, I, um, am less than 500 away from my giveaway too. So less than 500 away from 10,000, less than 500 away from my giveaway, which I had hoped we had hit that like before Christmas. So it's been a few months, it's taken a few months to get there, but we're almost there. We're almost at 10,000 y'all. So share and like, and thank you guys. I'm going to go in here and then I'll tell you what happened yesterday. Okay, Miss Rosie, you're going to have to go on back now. Miss Rosie, she knocked two of the veggies off. Look. So, I come out yesterday. Um, Lock Home Dad wasn't home yet. It was probably about 7.45. I come out to let them in. So, I shoo them all up the little ramp there. They're all in there. So, I take little Lock Home Dad's little contraption ramp thingy. And I we lean it up against right here. And so I leaned it up against, and then I go back to flip the lid up um, and to lock it. There's a latch there and to turn it. So I moved the plank. I went back over to do that. And thank God I didn't bend down or anything. Out of nowhere comes Mr. Mosley Demon Chicken and attacking me. So I had to grab the, the board and put it in between the two of us. But he he got my knee pretty good right here with his little spur. Um, but I have no idea what that was about. Because he's not tried to like majorly attack me in a couple weeks now. So, Log Home Dad came in here a few minutes ago and tried to catch him. And he went and hid. Not Log Home Dad, but Mr. Mosley went and hid. So little booger. I don't know what in the world, but thank God I wasn't bending down because sometimes I'll bend down and like pet them or shake their food or tell them good night, blow kissies at them. <laughs> and I mean, thank God my face was not there because he, I mean, he just came out of nowhere. Surprised the crap out of me. So I couldn't get him away with the board, but I had the scoop in here because I was, um, I always, when I come in at night, I um, take out this plate and I scoop anything that's left because I don't want ants coming in. We have ants. I don't want ants coming in um, here, you know. And we've literally, when we've left stuff in here, we have had ants come in and start an ant pile in the middle of the night. So um, I scoop out all that stuff and um, I had the scoop in here. So I was trying to get the board in between me and him and trying to get him back in there, but that was not working. So I ended up having to take the scoop and whack him. I whacked him pretty good, but I finally was able to take the scoop and scoop his butt back in the coop. And I'm like, what in the world? And I couldn't uh, like he, I couldn't like stop and pick him up because he was just coming at me, coming at me, coming at me. So Mr. Mosley's got to find a home. Because he wouldn't be much more than a couple chicken tenders. As the little man is always saying, chicken nuggets! I don't know what that is about, but his, his whole class, I went and had lunch with him on his birthday. And they're in line, and all the boys in the line, I guess every answer to everything for like six months has been chicken nuggets. So like you'll ask him a question, buddy, how was school today? Chicken nuggets! So it's been hilarious. So thank goodness school is out. So hopefully we can curb this chicken nugget thing. But Mr. Mosley wouldn't be no more than a couple of chicken nuggets. He's all fluff. Little booger. So moral of the story is don't own roosters. If you want chickens for eggs, just get hens. Do not get those that say um, unsexed because that means roosters. That's code word for roosters. So no more roosters here at the cabin. <laughs> so we are um, 17 days, 18 days officially before an incentive starts, but 17 days before we leave to Marco Island. We're counting the days down, y'all. 
I even have it every day. I change my cover photo on my Facebook, on my personal Facebook to count them down. Um, we're 17 days before we leave because we're going a day early. We're taking the camper. And then um, 18 days before um, we actually start our incentive part. But we're going early and we're staying a couple days later. Um, it's about a, what, four-hour drive down? Four-hour drive down there. Um, so it's a little ways. And we could have, I mean, since he gave us money, we could have flown... But then we'd have to rent a car, and we wouldn't be able to stay extra like we wanted. So we um, we're gonna we got a whole week at the one of our state parks for the price of what less than the price of what one night at the Marriott would have been to extend. Like if we were to get there early or decide to stay a day later or something. So we're taking the camper down, and what are we gonna do, log home dad? Fish, fish. Y'all, we're going to fish. So, I got a one-up log home, Dad. I need something bigger than that flipping red he caught last fall. That was, what, September? I think that was September. You caught that. September, October, I can't remember. So, I got I got one-up him. And we got friends coming next week. Um, friends I've never met. Friends because I, because of Facebook. I shared um, one of my friends that has a mercantile. Um, I don't know, about a month ago, she kind of went viral for doing um, pickle Sundays. It was an April Fool's joke, but they everybody liked it so much that they actually it stayed around for a while. And it actually went viral. So instead of, it, was, it went international. So instead of bananas, it was pickles. And people loved it. And so we've, we've been friends, um, like we've been following each other on Facebook for quite some time and, um, they're coming down next week. So we'll have some pictures. And then, um, I think I have a cousin coming down next week. So we got so much. And I got a, a night I schedule with my girls. We're doing one of those. It's not a paint. I guess it kind of is a paint night, but we're making wooden signs. So we're doing that in a couple of weeks. So I got a couple of little things planned. What are we doing this weekend? Welcome dad. He's looking at me like he should know this. I have no plans, so I'm just asking you what we're doing this weekend. I'm trying to involve Log Home Dad here. He's not impressed, y'all. Thanks a lot, Log Home Dad. So I asked him, I said, y'all tell me. I said, should I cut my hair? And he went. It's like, you know, to right here. Should I cut my hair? He's saying no. He's saying no. So I was like, should I cut my hair? It'd be cute. It'd be cool for summer. I've only cut my hair twice since we've been married. Two times since we've been married. Like one time I bobbed it. And another time it, it was Bob, but it was a little longer. And it was super cute. But he, log home dad likes long hair. He don't understand the struggles. He better move me closer to the beach or get me a swimming pool. <laughs> it's in a ponytail most of the time or in a hair clip, a big old hair clip. It's hot. Y'all, I, I had it curled before I come out here. There is no curl. None. I had curls in it. Even put hairspray in it. So, yeah. So, there we go. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to let y'all go. I'm going to get in and we're going to... He said we're going to have a date night tonight. So I'm sure he's got something big planned. <laughs> y'all, y'all go back and watch the beginning of my video. You'll see why I love home dad's so somber. Did you watch it? No, you weren't watching it. Okay. Poor log home dad. That's a hard working man right there. He ain't no snowflake millennial, are you? <laughs> No offense to the snowflake millennials, of course. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, I'm going to let you go. I hope y'all have an amazing day. I can't tell if you're commenting. I see a lot of you watching. Nobody's commenting. Y'all, goodness. What is wrong with you? So I'm going to 
We're going to get in there and decide what we're going to do. I think Lockholm Dad needs some coffee, though. Maybe we'll go Starbucks. Is our daughter working? Our daughter works at Starbucks. Is it worth the drive to go see her to get free coffee? No. Lockholm Dad says no. She works quite a, quite a ways away. <laughs> All right, well, we love y'all, and we'll be right back here tomorrow. I am sure it will still be 94 degrees and, uh, and feel like 97. <laughs> y'all take care. Love you. Keep sharing. Bye.